This is the High School Football America 2-Minute Drill Podcast for August the 9th, 2018. I'm Jeff Fisher. The High School Football America 2-Minute Drill is brought to you by the Debris Inhibitor Razor. Stop those pesky rubber pellets from field turf from getting into your shoes with a TDI Razor that also gives you the great look of spatting without the high cost of tape. Well, if you listened to yesterday's podcast, you heard me talk with the coach of the number one team in High School Football America preseason 100, Bruce Rollinson of Modern Day High School in Santa Ana, California. Today, we drop it down one to the number two team, the head coach of the Allen Eagles in Allen, Texas. Terry Gamble is going to join us on the show today. Football practice in Texas beginning on Monday for schools that did not hold spring ball practice. And for teams that did hold it, well, then it starts Monday. And that's when the Eagles start getting after it, trying to win back-to-back Class 6A Division I titles. With the opening of camp just a couple of days away, I asked Coach Gamble what he was thinking about at this point. I just want to, you know, just get started and uh, get a practice and see where we're at. And then as we practice, we need to find out how consistent we can be at what we're doing. And uh, you can do things consistently uh, and continue to get reps and do it consistently and do those things good, then you've got a chance to uh, really have a good football team. Coach Gamble has a lot of talent returning on both sides of the ball. On offense, it's all going to start with their dual-threat quarterback, who's already given his verbal commitment to Ole Miss, Grant Tisdale, who led the Eagles to a state championship last year. Uh, Grant, he just needs to do the things that he learned from uh, from last year and the experiences, and then he needs to come out to practice every day and improve. I mean, if he doesn't have that mentality, then it won't happen. Yeah. But he's got to have a mentality that he's got to come out every day of practice and he's got to get better. Tisdale will have plenty of offensive help, starting with his wide receiver, five-star prospect who's already committed to the University of Oklahoma, Theo Weiss. Uh, we've got a great receiver in Theo Weiss who's committed to Oklahoma, and uh, he's coming off of a great year. And then we've got some young kids that are uh, merging and doing a great job. Uh, we've got two uh, sophomores that have uh, earned a varsity spot, and they're twins, and uh, that's the Green Twins. And then we've got uh, Darren Sher- Sherfield. Uh, Seldon Manning will provide us uh, what we need. Uh, he's coming off of an ACL injury, and uh, we'll just see what takes place. Uh, we've got a great senior wide receiver also in Jawan Mason. So I really like where we're at. Uh, the key thing is to stay healthy and uh, don't turn the football over from an offensive standpoint. Coach Gamble especially likes the way his offensive line shapes up coming into 2018. Well, I mean, it's going to start up front in the offensive line. Uh, we've got really good uh, uh, senior leadership in that position. Uh, we feel really good about the spring that they had. Uh, offensively, uh, we've got uh, the two guards positions. We've got EJ and then we got Tay Brooks. And both of those kids have uh, playing time and uh They will uh, really provide the leadership that should be there. We've got a great uh, center in uh, Nick Trice. He's done a great job. And then our uh, right and left tackle, uh, Caleb Robinson and uh, and, uh, Basinger. So, uh, excuse me, Tucker Robertson and uh, Caleb Basinger, uh, those two men. So all five of them have playing time and experience. Uh, They're all seniors. So I think we have an opportunity to have a great offensive line. And as the saying goes, defense wins championships, and Coach Gamble has talent on the defensive side of the ball with the Eagles this year. He hopes that the team can do what it did last year when it comes to the takeaway category. Well, defensively, you always want to eliminate the big plays, and you want to create turnovers. And if you can do that, well, you know, we were a plus 31 last year, and people see that stat, and they're like, wow. I mean, we were, when the season ended, we were at a plus 31 in that area. So nice. that was huge. And if you can, you know, if you can copy that, you know you're going to have a great year. Mm-hmm. And, uh, We've got a great defensive line. Uh, we've got uh, four four seniors up there. 
uh, that have playing experience, the two defensive ends, uh, Emmanuel Nakori, uh, Brennan O'Brien, Jake Jernigan, a commit that's uh, going to Oklahoma State, Seth Mason, he's got several offers. All four of those guys are veterans, and uh, they should provide the leadership that we need. Uh, we've got some good linebackers. We've got a great young one, uh, uh, young man, Marcus Thomas, had a big pick in the state championship. He's returned. Uh, Nick Boone, he has played. And, uh, uh, you know, there's several that are in line for that position. In the secondary, uh, we, we had to rebuild there, but we've got great leadership out of Mo Perkins, who's a returner, and uh, Devin Butler. And so we'll see how it goes. The, the big deal is, is – them all taking the attitude of being dominant. Mm -hmm. And I think if you have an attitude that you're you're going to be dominant in practice in the classroom, uh, on the field, we want to dominate with whatever we're going to do here at Allen. And I don't care if it's on Friday night, we need to dominate. We need to win the game. If we're going to class, we need to dominate that class. And, and we need to have that mindset that we're going to dominate whatever we're going to do. That's Terry Gamble, head coach of the Allen Eagles, ranked number two in the High School Football America preseason 100. You can go to highschoolfootballamerica.com to learn more about the Eagles and the entire top 100 as we close in on the start of the 2018 high school football season. And speaking of Texas, my book, High School Football in Texas, Amazing Football Stories from the Greatest Players of Texas, will hit bookstores and begin shipping from Amazon and Barnes & Noble on September the 4th. Talk to over two dozen NFL players, past and present, nine of them in the Hall of Fame, a couple in the Hall of Fame in Canton, plus the College Football Hall of Fame in Atlanta, and a couple like uh, Coach Gene Stallings and Jerry Sizemore just in the College Football Hall of Fame. But I think you're going to love this book. It's 100% Texas high school football, all the great ones talking about what a huge impact the sport had on their life. And those memories from the Lone Star State are very, very strong with all of them. Go to uh, highschoolfootballamerica.com. All of the links to pre-order the book are right there for you. The High School Football America 2-Minute Drill is brought to you by the Debris Inhibitor Razor. And that's today's High School Football America 2-Minute Drill podcast, giving you up-to-the-minute high school football news from around the nation. Listen on our website or iTunes, Stitcher, or on TuneIn Radio. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter at HSFB America for the latest news throughout the day, along with Facebook and Instagram. Our handle there is High School Football America. Thanks for listening to the High School Football America 2-Minute Drill. I'm Jeff Fisher.